Hi everybody! So what I'm going to show you is a really fast um, hair look and it's I've done it in a couple of my videos and a couple of people asked how I do it. So uh, basically you're going to just uh, blow dry your hair. I put mousse in my hair. That way it gives me volume when I dry it and then I just curl this when I blow dry, curl this out, curl this under. Blow dry your hair in a million different directions. That way you won't have any one area that sticks up or if you want volume up here, blow dry all this up with a round brush so this will give you more volume up here at the top. And as far as my haircut goes, a couple people asked about it. I just do it myself. It's pretty, um, there's like a few long pieces in the back that are, well, they're, as you can see, they're kind of longer-ish. And then all this top part is pretty short. Like this is all, pretty much all the top is like this length up here. So when it falls, there's a lot of layers like around here. And then they kind of curl out all around this crown area is where there's short layers. And then there's just like a few of these longer pieces around the back. And then these guys, I don't really like how I look with bangs, so they were like Betty Page bangs that were really short, so this is just kind of them growing out, and then I razor them. So that's, to do the Audrey Hepburn bangs, you pretty much just roll this brush down and then pull them out to the side like that, and then you can comb them that way. Or they go, maybe they go the other way, I don't know. I have a cow look and I always forget. And then you just kind of roll them down and out to the side and then you have more side swept bangs like that. So for this one I'll show you put them up and then I always put paste or product in my hair and I really like this head games attitude adjustment so you just squirt like a little dab like even a pea size amount because this stuff is really thick. Then you want to heat it up, emulsify it in your hands it is a any reworkable sculpting thing. And then you just want to smooth all these guys out. So just run it through your hair. And then we're going to do a little teasing. So you're going to lift these guys up and use this boar bristle, bristle brush because this is going to make your teasing so much better. So you're just going to push down. And all you're doing is like lifting up and then shoving all this hair down. So you're shoving it to make like a little nest so it sticks up. So tease, tease, tease. Shove it down there. Do this all the way around, go all the way to the back of the head, go back here, do this side a little bit. I even go up to this crown and tease. So this guy has some volume over here. Do that down a little bit too. Okay, now you're going to smooth it so it doesn't look so crazy. And then you're just going to take your rubber band and bring all this hair around, smooth these guys out. This needs a little volume under here too. So it's nice and kind of poofy. Then you're just going to kind of shape it with your hands. And then I just put a rubber band right here. And you can bring back the 80s side ponytail with me. It'll be very fun. <laughs> so you can put it, this is kind of high. Normally I would have it more down that way. And then you can just take some bobby pins and pin these pieces of hair. Otherwise, these guys are going to fall out like that, and that's not cute. So just <laughs> put that back, put a pin there, and then put this back, and then just stick a bobby pin up back this way and up back this way. And then this part, once you get the bangs right how you want them, just hairspray them. And I like Paul Mitchell's reworkable hairspray. So that's one fast look to do. Then we'll take this off. And I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every couple days because sometimes the dirtier your hair is, the better. I know it sounds so gross, but the better it stays in hairdos. So um, that was our first one. Let me think of the next one we're going to do. Okay, I found a really fast alternative to a fast faux hawk hairdo. And you're going to love this tool that is in my hair to do it with. It is, if you were born or around in the 80s, they had these little banana clip things, and you can buy them at Claire's or any kind of accessory store or hair store still. And I just found this last night, and I was like, oh, yay! I can do easy faux hawk hair. So you're going to open it up really wide. Move your hair in the back like you're doing it in a ponytail. Start like here in the back so it's like in a V back here. Can you, I hope you guys can see this pretty well. And then you just keep re-moving your hair down into the center of it. And then you're just going to close these up. This is so fast. I love it. And you just snap the top. It just snaps like that. And you have like an instant like faux hockey ponytail thing. And the higher you do it up on your head, the more 
up it's going to be. Then you can just tease your bangs back, pin these guys, or spray them, and um, spray these sides. And it's really fun. I'm so excited I found these again. Um, just find them at the accessory store or the hair store. And they're just these like old 80s banana clip things that are really fun. So there's a couple fun fast hair ideas. Um, because I know I don't like my hair how it's long and some days I just wish I could cut it all off. I used to have really short hair and it was really fast and easy to do. But there's some fun things you can do with long hair too. So either way it's fun. So I hope you guys like it and keep all the requests coming for everything. So um, I'll keep making more videos and I'm going to have some contests on my blog. So um, keep watching for those. I'm going to be on vacation but um, keep checking and I'll try to post um, maybe some of the contest stuff on my blog to do. And I have some really cool, some of my favorite items that we're going to give away as prizes. My must have things I'd like to share with you guys. So whoever wins, you get a fun prize. <laughs> so uh, we'll talk to you soon guys. Bye.